Okay, this is a pneumatic plug. It just means an air air plug that you fill it with air. Um, it's also called a test ball. And uh, the type of uh, how you fill it with air, you take this off, and it's just you can use a basic um, bike pump. Uh, and uh, but I do have a, a compressor, so I'm going to use that instead since I already have it. And the way you're going to do that is set your uh, regulator pressure to the pressure that's recommended um, on the test ball or the pneumatic, pneumatic plug so you don't put too much pressure into the plug. Too much pressure will explode the plug. So I have a couple adapters and fittings here that I'm going to secure on to my um, the end of my quick connect here so that I can end up with something that looks like a, a you would see at a gasoline station to fill up your air, air pressure in your tire. All right. All right. Thank you for tuning in to another how-to video by Taylor. And this one, we are going to test the integrity of the sewer lines in the house. Now, this is the uh, clean-out. I've already um, loosened it up. This is the clean-out. Uh, for the house and so we're going to test the uh, lines the sewer lines underneath the uh, slab of the property and the way we're going to do that is stop up the um, put a plug a pneumatic plug or a test ball a plumber's test ball uh, in this main sewer line of the house and we're going to do it well, that's kind of nasty, but we're going to do it. Uh, the street is this way. The house is the house is this way. So we're going to put it down in the T, uh, going this way towards the street, towards the city. And uh, then we're going to turn on all the water in the house and let it run. Let all the sewer lines in the house fill up, and then we're going to watch the level and see if with the main line, the sewer line stopped, if the water level goes down here. If it does, that will tell us that we have a leak in the sewer lines that are actually um, inside the house. This is a, built on a slab, so the um, sewer lines are underneath the slab. All right. Okay. Now I've got my tank pressure to 30 psi, on my regulator pressure rather, 30 psi. My tank pressure is up to 70. That'll give me a little pressure to work with in case when I'm doing it, you know, I lose excess pressure, connection process and inflation process, which it will. You know, we'll see that go down, but that should give me enough to work with. I might give myself a little more tank pressure. Um, but you have this at 30, it's real important so that you don't burst the air uh, plug. All right. Okay, and depending on what your situation is, the depth of the clean out, how far you have to go down, you see I have to go, oh, about 18 inches here, and then you do want to go into. Uh, the pipe about another four inches the same you want to go in as deep as the diameter of the plug this is a four inch clean out so you want to go down to that bottom of that T and then four inches in so this chain that comes with the plug is not long enough so I just uh, modified it a little bit I put a little extension on here this is just a um, something that you would use to secure items uh, when you're traveling like a bungee cord and then I connected it here and just um, crimped with a, a set of pliers crimped this edge way this end way down normally it's an open hook but I closed it off so I'm not going to be able to lose this plug down the pipe for whatever reason uh, it won't be able to break loose 
okay? All right. Okay, what I'm doing here is filling it with air and just for a moment and then I come over here with my pressure gauge air pressure gauge and see where I'm at I'm at about 20 pounds of pressure right now but I'm doing this very carefully in small increments so as not to uh, explode the, uh, the air plug the pneumatic plug all right and there we go now you're not supposed to be when this the plug is inflated the test ball is inflated in the tube there's like a cone shape that goes out at an angle. You're not supposed to be anywhere near uh, that in case it slips off or explodes or pops out. But I do have the chain that's connected to it so I don't lose it uh, down the pipe. Uh, I've got this extension so I can connect my um, air pressure gauge to it and uh, while I'm filling the uh, sewer lines and testing the water level to see if there's a leak. I can come out here and monitor the air pressure if it seems to go down for whatever reason because the pneumatic plug is the rubber is stabilizing or something like that. I can always come out here and add another couple pounds of pressure to maintain that uh, 30 pounds of pressure that I need to keep that line completely sealed and blocked up. All right. Now I'll go and turn on all my uh, water in the sinks and tub and kitchen in the house and uh, let my water fill up to this edge here. And uh, then we'll see if it drops down. If it does, we'll know that we have a leak in the sewer lines in the house, from here to the house. Okay, so I have the water filled up in the clean out. You can see it was up to here and it drained down to here I've got the chain connected to my pneumatic plug the test ball secured right here so I don't lose it for whatever reason I've got the extension line where I'm monitoring the air pressure every couple minutes to make sure I'm staying at 30 psi to make sure you know water's not going out that way and then I have the water running in the sink in the kitchen to to see as the water's flowing in from the kitchen and it's leaking somewhere in the sewer lines in the house uh, I'm maintaining this level here so I can get an idea of how many gallons per second or per hour are uh, leaking.